everyone. Today I'm going to film an Aldi grocery haul for you, so that is actually where I am getting ready to go now. We don't have an Aldi in our town. In fact, um, we have to drive about 30 to 45 minutes to get to the grocery store, so I'm going to go ahead and head that way now, and then I'll show you what I get. My Aldi has a Hardee's right next to it. So I like to treat myself whenever I get to go grocery shopping without the kids. And our Hardee's has where you can get any of their sandwiches made low carb. So they'll just wrap it in lettuce and no bun. So I like to get a bacon cheeseburger. And then I have it no tomato, no onion. That's just my preference. And then I have them add pickles to it. And then I also, I get that. And then I get a large Coke Zero. And then I park at Aldi's and just sit in silence in my vehicle and eat it all by myself. Does anybody else enjoy eating alone in their car? Fellow moms and teachers, do you enjoy that silence just sitting there? Am I alone on this? All right, I'm back. I finished my Aldi trip and I was able to get out of there for $203.36 and for two weeks for a family of four, I am completely okay with that. So let's take a look at what I got. Before I go over everything, I just want to give a quick disclaimer. I am by no means a clean eating keto kind of girl. So I just focus on eating low carb foods. I do try to incorporate veggies, but you'll notice that it's not going to always be grass fed, organic, everything. I'll go through fast food restaurants and I'll get me a bunless burger. So I'm just doing what works best for me. You do what works best for you. And I won't go into too much detail over here because this obviously is off plan foods. This is not low carb but I am not just shopping for myself. So I do have some things in here for my husband and the kids. I have things like pretzels, bread, potatoes. I have higher glycemic fruit like bananas. They have grapes, carrots, a couple pizzas in there for some quick dinners for them. Um, yogurt, whole milk, applesauce, cereal, just different things like that. But I'm not going to be eating those things, but again, I don't just shop for myself, so I get them some of the things that they like as well. Alright, so on to the keto low-carb goodness. I did get some Propel. I like the great flavor. The watermelon's actually my favorite, but at Aldi they just had a couple of different flavors to choose from. So I went with grape, and then I got some of the spring water. And for produce, I just got a bag of Italian salad mix. So I use salad a lot of times for a side, and I just put some good old Hidden Valley Ranch on top of there. I also have some romaine lettuce, so I will use that not only for salads, but I like to make sandwich wraps with that. So instead of using bread, I'll just put the meat and cheese inside of there, or I'll even make like little taco boats using the romaine lettuce leaves. And I have a couple bags of Roma tomatoes, so that is just going to be for um, a family dinner where we're making tacos, so I'm in charge of bringing tomatoes and some cheese. So I have a couple bags of tomatoes there. Um, I got a couple stalks of celery. I really like to use this whenever we have buffalo chicken dip. I'll use that instead of chips, and then my family will just have chips with theirs. And then also just a good healthy snack with some dip. Um, I have some yellow onions here. I have a couple things of the multicolor peppers. I was gonna get some green peppers for, I like to do a Philly skillet, so I'll do that with either beef or chicken. However, they didn't have any green peppers whenever I went this time, so I just went ahead and got two of the multicolors. I also got a thing of the sweet mini peppers, so I love having these with guacamole cups, or um, I'll just snack on them plain. I got some grape tomatoes that were on sale, so I'll just add a few of those to my salad. I have some jalapeno peppers. So I really like to take the jalapeno peppers and cut them in half, and then I mix up cream cheese, cheddar cheese, and onion and garlic powder. And I stuff the peppers and wrap them in bacon, and then broil them until it's nice. the bacon's nice and crispy. and those are really good and that's an appetizer that you could do for people if you were having a get together 
like I'm doing this for New Year's Eve. So if you have people that aren't low carb eaters, they're still probably gonna like these. So that's a good go-to for an appetizer that everyone would like. I also have avocados. So they were on sale for 49 cents each. So I went ahead and got four of those. My kids really like to eat avocados as well. Some good healthy fats. And then I also have some olives. So I just got some of the black olives. And then I really like the stuffed olives as well. I have some garlic here that I'll use in a lot of different... I bought a couple different bags of radishes, so I will use those whenever I make pot roast. I just throw them in the crock pot with the roast, and it's kind of like a potato substitute. I have a couple of these packages of cocktail sausages, so I will just put this in a crock pot with some barbecue sauce, and that will be another New Year's Eve appetizer type food along with so for new year's eve i'm just getting all kinds of keto goodies low carb goodies out there so i have plenty of um, healthier options for me to snack on i have some chicken wings so i'm just going to cook those up in the air fryer i have some ham deli meat so my husband and my kids will eat this as well they'll probably put theirs on bread for a sandwich but i with deli meat i just either put it in the romaine lettuce wraps or I'll just roll up some ham with a slice of cheese and eat that as part of my lunch. I also got a couple cucumbers, so those are good. Low carb veggie side. I have some blueberries, so I do eat some fruits. I just try to make sure that they're lower glycemic fruits like berries. And then whenever I'm being strict keto, strict low carb, I wanna make sure that I measure those out because the carbs can add up fairly quickly on the fruit. I also grabbed some pepperoni, so I'll do these on my chicken crust pizza, or you can even take the pepperonis, and if you put them on a plate with a paper towel and microwave it for, I think I do like a minute and a half, they'll get really crispy, and it makes like a little chip that you can do. So I can dip that in guacamole or just other dips, or just snack on if you really need something crunchy, kind of like a chip fix for you that's still low carb. And my kids love to snack on these just as is. I also got some plain Greek yogurt. So I will use this whenever I make a protein cheesecake. And then sometimes I will also use this with some of the Tarani vanilla sugar-free syrup and a little bit of the blueberries. And I'll have the yogurt that way. Butter is pretty cheap at Aldi. So I went ahead and got another thing of butter. I always have that on hand, but no, I don't eat sticks and sticks of butter. It's not that kind of keto that I follow. I focus on protein. They had for part of their weekly meat special at Aldi, they had the thick cut pork chops. So I figure why not $4.43 for a few of these. I'll just go ahead and probably throw them on the George Foreman grill and we'll have pork chops for dinner one night. I also grabbed some real bacon bits. So I like to put these on top of salads or whenever I make like my cracked cheesy chicken, I'll put some of that on there as well. I went ahead and got some of this kielbasa. I figured I would cook that up with shrimp and some of the Cajun seasoning one night and just forego the potatoes and the corn that you would normally have with a shrimp boil. So it's just gonna be the sausage and the shrimp for that. I have some chicken breast, and yes, this is the never any kind. So it's the no antibiotics, um, no added hormones, no added steroids, all that good stuff. However, I don't normally buy this. Just for some reason at my Aldi today, they were completely out of just the regular fresh chicken breast. This was the only option that I had. So I went ahead and went with this because it does cost a little bit more. Normally I would just get the one that's just the regular chicken, not the special organic style, but still not too bad of a price. You just do pay a little bit more for the Never Any brand. Then I also picked up a Czech roast. So I will put this in the crock pot and have like a Mississippi style roast. And then I will also add some of the radishes to that. Again, I sub those for potatoes in my pot roast. Always, always good to have bags of shrimp on hand. So I have frozen shrimp and I'll just put those in a stir fry dish and maybe I'll mix it with some green beans and some gluten-free soy sauce or I'll have it with some zoodles or cauliflower rice. This week, I think I'm going to do kind of like a shrimp fajita bake. 
So I have a bag already down in the freezer and then I went ahead and picked up another bag. Um, I also got some sour cream, so I use that on taco night or if I make some dips. Um, cottage cheese, so my kids really like cottage cheese as well and then it works out as a low carb side for me too. Always handy to stock up on cream cheese, so I just grabbed a couple blocks of that. I use that in a ton of recipes and I have several blocks already in my fridge. I got way carried away with the cheese so I must have just really been craving cheese whenever I went to Aldi because I really loaded up on it and you can see I got several different kinds so I wanted to get a few different kinds of cheese for New Year's Eve because I just kind of like to graze on like the meat cheese and veggies and these two bags are the Mexican style cheese so again that's what I'm going to be taking since I'm in charge of tomatoes and cheese for the family taco dinner I'm going to take both those bags with me tomorrow and then we were running low on string cheese. Normally I get the big, huge thing of Frigo string cheese from Sam's Club, but we're running low on that and it's like an hour and a half away to our Sam's Club. So I just picked up some whenever I was at Aldi and that'll get us by. I actually have never tried goat cheese. So hopefully this will be a good one and hopefully I'll like it. This is the garlic and herb. And I have some flaxseed crackers that maybe I'll try that on, but I don't know. I'm going to give it a go and see if I like it. I figured garlic and herb would be a good flavor that you couldn't really go wrong with. Um, something else that's new for me to try. So I do really like fresh mozzarella, but this is the fresh mozzarella that's been marinated in um, crushed red peppers and garlic. Again, sounds like a good flavor that you can't really go wrong with, so hopefully this will be really good as well. I picked up some provolone sliced cheese, so I really like to use this in my Philly skillets. Whether I do chicken or beef Philly skillets, I just put that on top of the cooked chicken and peppers. And sometimes I'll put it under the broiler for a little bit to really get it all melty and gooey. And then this was on sale this week, I believe. So I went ahead and got some of this because why not save the time of cutting up the cheese into little cubes? So my kids will really like snacking on that too. And then this looked really good. So this is applewood smoked cheddar. So I, I bet that'll be great. And then I went ahead and got this cheese tray as well so it has gouda cheese which i really like gouda cheese it has monterey Chip monterey and chipotle jack cheese so several different cheeses to try in there and that should sum up my keto low carb grocery haul so again this is going to last us for about two weeks. It might even go a little bit longer, but in two weeks I'm gonna go ahead and make another grocery trip. And I'm gonna get all of these groceries put away now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this low carb grocery haul, just let me know if you would like to see more of this type of video on my channel in the future. Thanks for watching, bye.